Hey, what's up guys? Um, just wanted to take uh, Gus out for the night. Take his nightly crapola. And um, I saw this bug, or what I thought was a bug, on my glass door. And I thought to myself, well, that's a juicy bug. Because here in Pennsylvania, we got some big old fat bugs. But it turns out it's not a bug. So I thought I'd grab the camera and make a video on it. It's actually a tree frog. <laughs> Which is pretty neat. Right now, it looks like he's doing a magic trick floating on my door. But uh, let me give you a better angle of him here. Yeah, it's just a tree frog. We have him. It's not poisonous. It's not like a poison dart frog or anything nutty. He's just uh, doing his thing. It's pretty cool. You don't see these things during the day. You hear them sometimes at night. Um, almost like crickets. They could be really, really loud. But uh, in the title, I'll have looked this one up and found out exactly what he is. He's uh, mostly orange with a green belly. And he's pretty darn cool. Look at him. Just uh, doing his tree frog thing. I thought I'd make a fun little video. More local wildlife. So, Jesus, I gotta water that thing. <laughs> That's my... Had some rhubarb in there and some, uh, I don't know, a bunch of other crap. Now it doesn't make a difference because it looks like it's all dying. Anyway, um, yeah, so northeastern Pennsylvania, we have tree frogs as well. Uh, this is only the second time I've ever seen one, and the first one I saw was just a very uneventful, muddy brown color. This one's pretty neat looking, though. And if I was 12 years old, I would certainly put him in a jar with a stick to replicate his environment and keep him as a pet, but wouldn't know what to feed him, so he'd probably end up dying. Nope. I'll just leave him be. He is cool looking, though. Good color on him. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.